In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make this upper flange profile. So first, I'm going to control tab back to my other document. Then I want to work on this face. I'll select it. I'm going to make an extrude boss. I'll select that. And I'll just look normal to my part. I'm going to start by converting the inner edge here. So I'll select this and I'll zoom out. I want to make sure the entire edge is selected. I'll say OK. And I have a full circle convert it. So that's good. I'll go back to normal too. I'll use my mouse gestures to activate circle. And I'm going to draw two more circles centered at the origin. I'll push escape. This one I want for construction. So I'll select it and switch it to construction geometry. I'll activate smart dimension with mouse gestures. And then I'll dimension these two circles. So this one will be for my bolt hole. It's the bolt hole circle that they'll be placed upon. So I'll click to create it. It's 7.375 diameter. So I'll create it. Then I'll dimension this one. And it's an eight inch diameter. So that's good. I'm gonna push escape to stop dimensioning. Again, I'm gonna activate circle with mouse gestures and I'm gonna zoom in. And right here at this quadrant point, I'm gonna create another circle. Use mouse gesture to activate smart dimensioning. I'll dimension it a quarter inch. Then I'll push escape. Everything is fully defined. So next I'll use a circular or rotary sketch pattern to place this six times equally spaced around this circle. So I'm going to come up to the linear sketch pattern, choose the drop down arrow and tell it I want to do a circular sketch pattern. So here I'm going to just select this circle. It sees the center and I'm going to set the number of spaces to six. I'll zoom out a little bit. And then I have some choices here. I can have equal spacing and dimension the radius, or I can have dimension the angular space and the radius, but not have this turned on. So I'm going to go with these two dimensions and I'll say OK. Now, at first appearance, it doesn't appear fully defined. What we need to do is add one or two more relationships. So I'm just going to select the center of this circle, hold control, select my bolt hole circle, and say they're coincidence. And now everything is fully defined. I'll select the isometric view. I'll right click to exit my sketch and I'll make my extrusion 400 thou thick going up. Right click to accept that. Clear this. It looks good. So I'll save my work and continue from there in the next video.